Hey beautiful people, all praises to the Most High. So I just like to speak about some things and I'd like you to fast and pray and ask God about it. Um, about I suffer not a woman to teach. Teaching is a spiritual gift. So if you got the anointing of teaching, you're supposed to teach. God raised you up to be a teacher for his people. If you got the anointing for prophecy, God raised you up to be a prophet for his people. If you got the anointing for healing, God raised you up to be a healer for his people. If you got the anointing of a seer, then God raised you up to be a seer for his people. It's all about the anointing. It's not about going to school and going to theologian school and Hebrew camp school and mosque school to learn God. No, you have to go on your knees and fast and pray and seek God and he will teach you. And the more you seek him, the more he'll reward you and he'll anoint you with gifts. Also, you're already born with gifts. He's just he's just letting you realize the ones that you have. And the more that you seek him and the more that you grow with him, he'll embed you with even more gifts than that you didn't have from the beginning. All right. God gave us power, peace, love and a sound mind. And in these last days, the men have been ignorant of God's power and his gifts and have not been teaching people about these things. And I just like to say, you have men out here who try to silence women and say, I suffer not a woman to teach, but I, I suggest you men fast and pray and get the, get the history of what happened in that time. Why he said, I suffer not a woman to teach or stir up authority over a man because the women back then were taking off their hair their um head ties throwing it on the floor prophesizing lies and doing all kinds of crazy things you can look it up in history all right and it's talking about women who have husbands and they were talking in the church when uh, a prophet was speaking or something they'd be asking their husband questions they would be and they thought it was, she was not in obedience to her husband or the church because she was being disrespectful. You can look it up in history. You know, it, it's there. You can go to Google and go to the heading of books and put, I suffer not a woman to teach or to upstir authority over a man. And you can look it up for yourself. Or even better, you can fast and pray and ask God if he has told women to teach right now or if women are allowed to teach. Because a lot of you men... Um, have been condemning women without cause. A lot of you men, don't you know it's the last days and God is going to pour out his spirit on all flesh? All flesh is all flesh. Men, women, and child. Okay? And I just want you to understand that. And especially you men, you need to fast and pray and you need to ask God if he raised up women to teach because teaching is a spiritual gift. It's one of many gifts and God will embed you with as many gifts as he sees fit in your journey and how how close you draw near to him. Draw near to God and he'll draw near to you. It's not for you to come out here and to try to condemn women who God has really called to do what they're called to do. And if you don't believe that a woman is called to teach, then you should fast and pray and ask God instead of using your mouth for evil. All right. And using your mouth to tell lies, using your mouth to discriminate and lie against women, because that's why I showed you a video of God speaking himself. He said, I'm using women. Where are the men? You're not praying and you're full of pride. All right. You just want authority over a woman and to be the head of the church, but you're not doing what it requires for the congregation to get to prepare them to get to the end time battle. So that's the problem. You men want authority. But you're not putting in the work for God. Women are seeking God. Women are putting in the work for God. So, and if you have a problem with God raising up women as teachers, and you're going to use that one scripture talking, I suffer not a woman to teach. It's talking about married men and married women. When you go to church and your wife is trying to take authority over the men, this is not talking about single women. And as you read in the Bible, there was Deborah who God had to judge the children of Israel. That is a woman. Stop being a chauvinist. God had Anna, the prophet, Tis. God had, you understand, Hulda in the book of Kings. So it's all through your Bible about God having, raising up women to speak for him, 
raising up women to teach his people, look at Deborah's story, look at Anna's story, look at Holda's story. So um, it's all about your relationship with God. Stop thinking because we, do you not read in Revelation, the woman is going to crush the serpent's head, not the man. It tells you in Jeremiah, a woman shall come past the men. The women were going to be smarter than the men in the last days. Whether you believe it or not, fast and pray about it. Fast and pray about it. I never tell you to believe anything I say. I always tell you to ask God. So if you don't understand the scriptures, there's many more scriptures. So you say a woman's not to teach, but God tells you he gives you teaching as a spiritual gift. He said he made some teachers. Are all teachers? No. Are all prophets? No. Are all apostles? No. He gave you the gift in which he knew that it would best fit you. All right? So, and, and, and you can't put no limit on God's elect. All right? You cannot put a limit on God's elect because they can do everything. They have it all. And if you want, you can listen to God talk. You can look up videos of him talking about his manifested sons and daughters. And you, you'll you see. You'll see God tell you himself, manifested sons and daughters will be doing great works, not just manifested sons. All right? So you need to really repent for teaching blasphemy and lies. You need to really repent for condemning women who are raised up by God and who fear God. All right? A woman who fears God shall be praised. All right? So I hope you take this up with God and you fast and pray and get your results. And stop saying a woman is, I suffer not a woman to teach. Yes, but God also gives spiritual gifts. So you have to understand, if you don't understand the scripture, God told you to ask him. So please ask him.